While Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg is defending her new colleagues on the Supreme Court, the 86-year-old spoke about, well, controversial Trump appointees, Brett Kavanaugh and Neil Gorsuch, at a D.C. event saying, quote, my two newest colleagues are very decent, very smart individuals. I'm joined now by Carrie Severino, chief counsel at the Judicial Crisis Network. Um, you know, I think a lot of lawmakers could learn from her. Here we have a liberal uh, justice speaking positively about her conservative colleagues. Yeah, and she was pushing back on the moderator, who was really suggested that they weren't qualified mm -hmm. or weren't weren't decent people even to be on the bench. So I thought it was very uh, nice of her to do that, especially as someone who famously is not a fan of Trump. She said some very uh, critical things about Trump uh, previously. So he, she shows that she is standing up for her colleagues, uh, in, even so. And I certainly described this in in, in uh, Molly Hemingway in my book on it, where she, among her other colleagues, really reached out to Kavanaugh when he came on the bench to try to push back on some of the hostility he had received and trying to show their support for him. So I think that speaks a lot to the, their collegiality. It does speak volumes, first of all, for uh, Ruth Bader Ginsburg to come to the defense of Brett Kavanaugh. I mean, he got mm -hmm. so much grief, uh, you know, when he was being sworn in. Um, and so for her to essentially say, quote, he's a very decent man, I'm wondering if that will appease all the haters out there and all the liberals that didn't want to see him in that court. I don't believe that Ginsburg would make a decision on somebody as far as their character is concerned when she makes much bigger decisions her entire career on a person's character. Uh, do you think that maybe some haters out there might change their minds after hearing Ginsburg's take? Well, you know, I would hope so. There's a lot of people who really look up to her, particularly on the left, and she, she's a, a, one of the leading liberals on the court. And I think it, it really just tears the mask off of some of the crazy apocalyptic language we're hearing from people, suggesting that he's not temperate, suggesting that he's going to be the end of the country as we know it. Come on, guys. This is something, as she pointed out, the, the justices actually agree on decisions that are unanimous about 40 percent of the time. Uh, the, the language and the rhetoric was way overblown, and I think it was great for her to so that you can disagree with someone on their legal approach even, and even on important cases, and still not have to vilify them and turn them into a, a monster, which is really what we saw during this process. Let's debate the topics like they do at the court, but still be able to, to understand that and respect each other as people. Ginsburg also says that she doesn't favor proposals put forth by some Democratic presidential candidates who have advocated changing the number of justices um, if the Democrats win the presidency. Listen. Nine seems to be a good number, and it's been that way for, for a long time. I think that was a bad idea when President Franklin Delano Roosevelt tried to pack the court. If anything would make the court appear partisan, it would be that one side saying, when we're in power, we're going to enlarge the number of judges so we will have more people who will vote the way we want them to. A very bipartisan statement there. Uh, how do you think the Democrats will receive that? Well, I hope they're listening. I mean, we're seeing Democratic nominees or would-be nominees running to the edges, even suggesting, and a lot of them are doing this, that maybe we need to think about adding judges just so that a Democrat could then pack the court, just like FDR tried to do 100 years ago. I was glad to see that Ginsburg is pushing back in this. I hope they're listening, because that would be a horrible thing for the court and for the country to politicize it in that manner, and it really uh, shows that they're, they're looking more to use the court as a political tool than to hope that these justices are behaving. Yeah as neutral judges. All right. Carrie Saravino, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thanks.